Coming soon. The movie event of the year. Attack of the 50-foot slug. The journey back to the others from the snack shack is more difficult than I uh, expected. Luckily, I have supplies to sustain me. <laughs> I can't enjoy this without popcorn. Are you kidding, Cord? This place is awesome. Totally. Giant screen, killer sound, snow dance cavern rocks. Even with the ice ogres. Ice ogres? What are they, the guys who make the snow cones at the snack shack? Ice ogres are the carnivores who live inside that glacier. Oh, right. Because that makes so much more sense. Relax, bro. It's winter. They're hibernating. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Finally. Yes, the journey was long and arduous. But behold, the bounty Pronto has procured. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, alas, since the journey was so long and arduous, Pronto was forced to consume most of the bounty. I'm gonna be forced to consume you if I don't get me some popcorn. Oh no, my friend. You would never return from such a journey. Only a Molinoid can navigate the treacherous maze to... the Snag Shack. Starting. Well, here we are. Just me and you. And I can't remember if I have one slug left or two. <laughs> oh, come on. You can't hold a blaster like that. It ruined the trajectory. Shh. You're gonna tell Max Jackson how to shoot? He's only like the biggest action star ever. They say it's impossible for directors to get him to do what they want. I bet you got what it takes. Yeah, well, it's a long way from making videos for the Slugnet to working with a star like that. But somehow, someday, a movie I shoot is gonna be on that screen. Hey! You're blocking my view! I'll park my mecca where I wanna park. And I'm gonna park right where you are. Hey, keep it down! I'm trying to watch... The Hula Gang? The Shane Gang? Well... Looks like we got ourselves a standoff. Look, Billy, we're just here to watch a movie. Let's not ruin it for everyone. Okay, then how about I just ruin it for you? Make sure you film all this, camera girl. I want everyone to see the Hula Gang beat the Shane Gang. <laughs> Sounds like Pronto is missing all the good parts of the movie. What's your problem? After the last time we met, we got fired by Dr. Black because of you. I'd consider that doing you a favor. Court! We'll all be buried under a mountain of ice if this thing comes tumbling down. Ha! Eat slug, Shane! Stop! 
We gotta take this outside, Billy. If that ice wall falls, it'll crush us all. I told you, I'm not stopping till I win. Now, if you want to surrender, then fine. <laughs> Okay, okay, fine, I, I give up. Duel's over, okay? You win. Just stop shooting. Woo! <laughs> you see that? I won! I beat the Shane Gang! <laughs> Didn't you hear what Eli said? Of course I heard him. He said, I give up. Dude, we all gotta chill here. Those cracks are totally messing with the glacier's structural integrity. We're probably okay, as long as... is... Yeah, you probably don't need to finish that sentence. Looks like hibernation's over. So? What did Pronto miss? Pronto! Yes, I know. The surround sound is impressive. I know, but you told me this movie was in smell o vision <gasps> And the special effects are absolutely incredible, even without the... glasses? <laughs> Guys, no! This glacier's not stable. We got bigger problems. You're right. We do have bigger problems. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Huh. I guess he doesn't like Max Jackson's acting. Come on. Go ahead. Try me. What happened to the movie? Uh, the show's over. Uh, the exit is that way. Everybody out! Yeah, hurry. <laughs> You're the last ones. No refunds. Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, perhaps it was hoping for a refund. Come on! Where do you think you're going? Don't you ever give up? You're the ones who give up, remember? That's why I'm taking this old pit stop before getting out of here. I'll take that. Hey! You got proof my gang's better than the Shane gang. When I put it up on the slug net, everyone will see. Eli giving up a duel to protect people? Oh, and look at him now. Saving that guy while you just sit around like a flopper slug. Just keep that camera pointed at me. I'll show you who's the man. What do we do? Hitting it with slugs only made it bigger. Then we gotta get creative. <laughs> okay, well, good news is now we know it's not just hitting it. Anything that makes it angry makes it bigger. This is good news! Hop on, we're all getting out of here. Just like the Shane Gang, running from the fight. <laughs> Wait, no! What are you doing? I'm trying to prove he's better than you. Yeah, well, he's definitely better at making that thing bigger. Most slugs only anger the ogre. You can't beat him without the soothing song of the Slyron Slug. Slyron Slug? Where do we get one of those? Oh, there's a whole big nest of them deep inside the ice ogre's lair, yeah. Go! We'll try to slow it down. <laughs> That'll slow him down. Let's go! You filming this, camera girl? Every single frame. I want everyone to see how the Hula Gang stopped this thing while Eli Shane ran like a chicken. Oh, this is too good. Oh, man! We're trapped! The entrance is caved in! Because of you? What are you blaming me for? I'm the only one here trying to slug this thing. Get 
to cover! Everyone into the snack shack! <laughs> We need that Slyron slug. We're not gonna have time to find it if we don't shore up the glacier. If it falls, it'll crush the whole cavern. Well, there's more reason we need to escape. All right, we're all too good to get tunnel. But I will need some help. <laughs> what you all need to do is be quiet. You're throwing off my aim. That's not gonna work. You gotta listen. <laughs> yeah, right. Like I'd ever take orders from losers like you. <laughs> See? Let them go. Maybe they can at least keep that thing busy. I'll go for the Slyron. You guys take care of the rest. Singing? We're gonna need to get across the hard way. This is oh so gross. <laughs> hey, camera girl, look over here. Woo! You getting this? Woohoo! Stop! You're leaving it right on top of us. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't have to if you'd come over here and film me. Woohoo! <laughs> we are never getting out of here alive, are we? <sighs> I don't know why I'm so <laughs> tired suddenly. <sighs> Thanks, Burpee. It must be that <sighs> singing. Come on. <sighs> hey there, little guy. I need your help. <sighs> Whew. Okay, good. Now I'm up. Unfortunately, it looks like it's just in time for breakfast. me now! On camera, just like Max Jackson, right? Ah! Will you stop growing? Yeah! Too bad he isn't an actor. At least then we could direct him to do what we want. Yeah, if we had a movie director. Yeah, well, lucky for us, we kind of do. Now that was totally Max Jackson-esque. Yeah, I know. I gotta admit it, you're a natural. The camera eats you up. This is too good not to get on film. Except for... Except for what? There's just something a little off. It's three of you fighting against the one monster. Uh. 
ever seen Badder Than Bad? <laughs> Only 15 times. I've seen it 16. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> Does Max ever have anyone helping him? Fat chance. Max Jackson always works alone. Exactly. Your friends are just stealing the spotlight. I can't focus on you. Tell them to help dig the boring tunnel and seal up those cracks. This is your big Max Jackson moment. Yeah! I'm the star, not them. All right, you punks, listen up. Glasses, you're with the blue turkey. Seal up those cracks. Shorty, do what that mole's doing. Actors, play to their ego, and it works every time. Hey, Snot Face! You think you're pretty cool? How about you take some of this snow and flake? Get it? Flake like a snowflake, because he's an ice ogre. <laughs> <sighs> I got this action hero thing down! Yeah, except action heroes usually win. So what should I do? Wait, I got it. How about I shoot it with more slugs? Uh, no, that makes it bigger. How about try not shooting it? If I don't shoot it, what do I do? I don't know. I can't see Max Jackson doing this. Are you kidding me? This is cinematic gold! Embrace the popcorn. Be the popcorn. I got a better idea. Get me finishing him off with a ramstone slug. No! <laughs> We're doomed. Trixie! We're saved! <laughs> nah, you were right the first time. We're doomed. He's got the Slyron! Shoot it! I can't! I only have one! Okay, we just gotta get our ogre together with those. Then he can shoot them all at the same time. <laughs> yeah, right. So Eli can be the hero? What's in that for me? Uh, how about getting out of this cave alive? Uh. Billy, wait! Move! Into the projection booth! I need a new plan here. I can't use a Slyron on all of them with half of them chasing after Billy. Ah! I got Billy to help us before. And I can do it again. Hey, where are you going? It's only a 10,000 pound flesh eating monster! <laughs> Couldn't have done it better. Pronto could have, but I was occupied with the even more crucial task of securing our exit. <laughs> Which I have done. 
Glacier's all fixed, too. Solid as a rock. Hey, and you got one of your movies on the big screen. Yeah, turns out we have a real movie director here after all. Thanks. The next time, I want to work with a better cast. Yeah, well, I'm totally beat, and so are all my slugs. I'm just glad it's all over. It's not over. Oh, come on, Billy. It is over. We took out the ogres. You didn't do anything. I was the one on screen. You all saw what happened. I was the one who got all the ogres together. So I was the one who saved the day. And once everyone sees what I did, no one will ever think the Shane gang's better than my gang. So hand over the camera. Unless you want me to kick your butts again. No problem, Billy. There's just one more shot we'd need to really sell it. The hula gang standing on top of the defeated ogres. Glad there's one Shane ganger with some brains. Come on, guys. Make sure you get my good side. Ah, who are we kidding? Every side of me is... <laughs> Wait. <gasps> Why are they so... <sighs> you know, this might be your best work yet. Yep. Can't wait for everyone to see this when I post it on the slug net. And that's a wrap. Can I help you? How'd you know I was here? I disabled your alarm. Maybe, but this place has all sorts of eyes and ears. <laughs> so, you want to play with slugs, huh? Destroy the place. <laughs> A little help here, guys. You know, we might be able to settle this if you just tell us what you want. I want what's mine. But a little soap might help clean up this mess. There's nowhere to run, so now might be the time to tell us why Black sent you before my friend gets trigger happy. Black? I don't work with that slug turd. I work alone. You can't hide it forever. Wait! Hide what? Who are you? I want my share of that treasure. Treasure? And I promise you, I'll get it. Uh, 
Does anyone know who that was? I'm still going with one of Black's lackeys. I don't know. No real reason to lie about that. And she wasn't using ghoul slugs. But what treasure could she be talking about? Obviously, she was after the legendary Shane treasure. Well, if it's so legendary, how come I've never heard of it? This wouldn't be the first time your dad kept something secret from you. Just think, you could have a vast fortune hidden somewhere. You could be rich. Rich? Rich? I don't know. My dad talked about caches of stuff hidden around Slugterra, things I'll need someday, but I think it would have said something about a fortune. Some of it could be hidden here, right under our noses. <sighs> hmm. More secrets, huh? Okay, okay, but I'm not sure how or even where. Allow me. Haven't seen one of these in ages. The thing's been coated with smolten. Only way we're getting this baby open is with a forge smelter slug. Oh, we don't have one of those. Well, where can we find one? Oh, we would have to travel to the deepest regions of the magma caverns. It's way too dangerous. It's basically all molten lava. And don't forget the magma monsters. And the ferocious lava bats that will swoop down and gorge themselves on my sweltering brains. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of place. Let's load up, gang. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> ridiculous that your dad not only expected you to find that chest without instructions, but he didn't even leave you a way to open it if you found it? Uh, my dad always liked me to figure things out for myself. And you're cool with this? Doesn't matter whether or not I'm cool with it. It's just the way it is. supposed to cross an ocean of lava. Never fear. Proto the Magnificent shall drain the sea of fire. Now! <coughs> I, uh, I mean, now! Pronto! How did you... Magnificent? Eh? Uh, also, the lava tide goes in and out every hour on the hour like clockwork. Uh, so, if we are to do this ridiculous crazy thing and get ourselves some sweet, sweet treasure, we must embark immediately. The drowning in fire clock is already ticking. Fifty-nine minutes! Yoy. Hmm. What is it, Eli? I thought I saw... Nothing. I just can't stop wondering who that thief was and how she could have known about this chest. Whoever she was, she couldn't possibly be dumb enough to come here. We own that level of dumbness. Surviving the magma caverns is slow and steady. But 
Didn't you say we had to hurry? Might want to keep it down, too. Don't want to wake any magma monsters. <laughs> Only a fool would be afraid of a silly little... We'll, uh, <laughs> have to cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> yeah. We must hurry before the lava tide comes back in. Remember, slow and steady. Seriously, it's almost like he expected you to go on this crazy mission. Fire geyser! You think? Fire geysers give a warning hiss before the blast, so they shouldn't be a big problem if we go... Slow and steady, yeah, yeah, we got it. Uh-oh. Go, go, go! Behold, the fabled Forge Smelter Chamber. Well, let's find one quick and get out of here. Huh? Or you can just give me that chest. Since I've got the only key. You think that's the only slug in this cavern? The only one you're gonna find. I just unleashed a frost crawler and scared off all the others. Oh, it'll be hours before they return! But the lava tide will be back a whole lot sooner. So, you gonna give me my share of that treasure, or are we all gonna boil? She's got nerve. I'll give her that. Look, I don't know who you are or why you think you have dibs on anything in that chest. My name's Dana Poor. And if that doesn't ring a bell, perhaps this will. You recognize that man with your dad? Yeah, that's Tom... Poor. He's your father, isn't he? My dad talked about him all the time. They were like best friends. Until he betrayed my dad. Betrayed Will Shane? Huh. Your dad obviously didn't tell you the whole story. Ooh, there's a shocker. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Uh, my dad's been known to leave out a detail or two. Well, my dad didn't. He was Will Shane's recon man, and he was the best there was at getting information. And all of that valuable info went to Will Shane. This helped him stay one step ahead of the bad guys. They were a great team. But my dad knew something wasn't right about Will Shane. He would disappear for days at a time and never have an explanation for where he went. Will Shane was keeping a lot of secrets. So, my dad decided to start watching your father. He was hiding treasure, treasure he promised to share with my dad. But that wasn't the worst of it. Will Shane was working with the enemy. My dad would never work for Black. Not Black. Even worse, the Shadow Clan. When my father confronted him about this, Will denied everything, except the treasure part. So my father became angry and challenged your dad to a duel. And we all know what happens when you challenge Will Shane to a duel. Which is why you're gonna give me his cut. Huh? Dana, I can't believe my father would do that. But I also can't always explain or understand his actions. Uh, uh, Proto finds this all very moving, but he would also like to remind you that the Lava Tide will return soon. <laughs> so, uh... I don't care about gold. 
If that's all you're after, I'll give you a share. If you give us a slug so we can get out of here. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, get out of here. <laughs> no. We open it here, right now. And there's little time to argue, so let's get to it. Fine. <sighs> It's just a bunch of junk. What is all this? You trying to scam me? Worthless, trash, junk. Told you there was no fortune. Though I was hoping there would be too. Maybe I can melt this thing down for something. The Shadow Clan. They're coming. Ugh. Shadow Clan, huh? Yeah, they get here so fast. Who cares? Let's make them leave. <laughs> oh, the Lavatite is coming! Get out of here! <laughs> Come on, Eli! I'm coming! Go big, Burpee! <laughs> Go! move. Way to level up, little guy. No slow and steady this time. Well, hello. Welcome back. These guys are unstoppable! <laughs> so, uh, remember what I said about crossing that bridge when we come to it?
want me to put this on? Did you see what happened to Dana? Mm -hmm. Please don't fry my brain. It belongs to us. Are you talking to me? Who are you that you can withstand the power of the Shadow Talker? The Shadow Talker? The circlet on your brow. It allows communication between the wearer and the Shadow Clan. But not all can survive its mind-bending force. So again, we inquire. Who are you? I'm Eli Shane. My father was Will Shane. Will Shane. Will Shane. Will Shane. Your father could not handle the Shadow Talker's full strength. And it appears you aren't ready to wear it just yet. But we will allow you to keep it for the day when you are ready. Now, remove it before it takes your mind. Wait! Who are you people? What do you want? The same thing all Shanes want, including your father. And so, we will. Meet again. Wait! What did my father want? <sighs> Eli! Dude! <sighs> How did you escape the Shadow Clan? I'm still trying to figure out what happened myself. They just... left. You know, it might be a lot easier if we figure it out together. Huh? Well, to start with, this thing allowed me to talk to them. No way. It did what? I put it on just like Dana and... Wait, where is Dana? No clue. I turned back to check on her and she was just... gone. For now, I have a feeling we'll see her again. My dad kept all these things hidden for a reason. That was his treasure. And I don't think Dana Poor is done hunting for what she thinks is hers. The old stories tell of a distant shore, unreachable by normal means. A world of strange magic and secret knowledge, and riches beyond belief. A cavern ablaze with fire, walls stretching into the infinite. The burning world, lit by the lantern at the heart of creation. Despite what you've been told, these tales are not legends. The world above is real. And after years of searching, I, Garivel, have found the way. If fame and fortune interest any of you, I shall lead you to it. We will assemble at the Monarch Inn tomorrow, nine sharp. And then we make History! He's talking about the surface, Burpee. This can't be good. Morning, Eli. Trix, I, I was just, uh, I didn't expect you to be up. Never went to bed. Your reign of terror is almost over, Trixie. And finishing blow. <laughs> oh, I hate this game. Another round. You're on. And where are you headed on this fine morning? Me? Oh, yeah, I just had an, uh, errand run. An errand, huh? 
wouldn't have anything to do with this. Uh, come on, Trix, uh, give it back. New World Wow. Garvel promises fame and fortune with Burning World Expedition. Finishing blow. What? Oh, come on! This isn't where you're going, is it? Maybe. Who cares? You should, for one. The Burning World is just a myth, a dumb kid's story. Think about it. If there was really a world above, why haven't we seen any people from there? Uh, I'll admit, it does sound a little fishy. So don't waste your time. Ravel's been roping clueless slingers into these dead-end expeditions for years. <gasps> Car Ravel is launching a new expedition? Has anyone else seen this? <laughs> a whole world above Slug Terra. <gasps> Imagine. No slabs. No mechs! <gasps> no molinoids! Oh, I'm imagining it. And the gold! Oh, there will be gold, of course! We must go and heal this Ravel out! For exploration! Uh, I don't know, Pronto. I, I was gonna go alone. If this guy is taking advantage of people, I should, uh, probably check him out. You know, for justice. Oh, please! Please, please, please! Well, if we're going on official Shane Gang business, East Rift does have the best chocolate root beer floats this side of anywhere. Then it is settled! We will all gold! Uh, I, I mean go. Great! Glad to have the help. So much for keeping this on the down low. <laughs> This is definitely not worth the root beer. Yeah, you see the kind of people God's stories attract, Eli? Charming. Uh, uh, four extra large floaters, please. And whatever my friends want. Watch yourself, Molenoid. <laughs> Eli. That's Andre Geyser. Who? World-class adventurer. Pretty famous, too. I wonder what a real explorer like that is doing here. Thank you all for coming. As many of you know, the burning world has been my obsession since I was a boy. And I recognize many of my previous expeditions were seen as disappointments to those involved. This, however, will be different. He hasn't taken his hands off that book since he came out. We need to get a look at it. The world above offers more than fame and fortune. Take their moon, for example. A planetary body of vast proportions orbiting literally millions of miles above their heads. <laughs> oh, come on. People can't be taking this seriously. You got a problem, Curly? Nope, uh, we're fine. Sorry. No problems here. Isn't that right, Trix? My only problem is that you're all buying this. He's taking advantage of you. Easy, guys. There's no need for trouble here. Only an idiot would be part of a bogus expedition. Are you calling me an idiot? No! Sounds like you're calling yourself an idiot. Trix, stop helping. You just had to say something. I thought we were here on official business. I just wanted to help these people. Burpee! No! No, stop it! You're ruining everything! Now, Molenoid! Everybody stop! <laughs> 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 
Slug? Only one person has such a specimen. Don't you know who this is? Uh, hi, I'm... Eli Shane! Of course you are, of course you are! Oh, this is excellent. Just excellent. Oh, with a Shane on board, this expedition cannot fail! Um, newsflash, Eli's not joining your expedition. Uh, listen, guys, uh, about that... Uh... Oh, you can't be serious. These were the guys shooting at us. It's not that simple. Actually, it is. Either you're with reason and common sense, or you're with this guy. Then, I'm with Gar. I'm joining the expedition. I don't think I heard you right, bro. I said I'm staying. You guys head back to base. I'll be home soon. <laughs> Uh, try to get rid of them, so you have a larger share of the riches. Well, Pronto won't be falling for that trick. I'm in. Sorry, Pronto. You're leaving too. I have to insist. I know you guys must think I'm crazy, but I have my reasons for this. You just need to trust me. We do trust you, Eli. We just wish you'd trust us. <sighs> Had to be done, Burpee. They can't find out about the surface, and we have to find out how Gar knows what he knows. They'll understand, right? You made the right choice, my boy. The very right choice. The Shane brand is just what this expedition needs to bring it some legitimacy. Huh? Believe it or not, the promise of fame and fortune can sometimes attract a less than savory element. Really? I hadn't noticed. I need to speak to Gar in private. Yeah, excuse me a moment, won't you, Eli? A uh, Shane? I was supposed to be the face of the expedition, remember? Don't worry, you'll still get your payday, Andre. In the meantime, a little class isn't going to kill us. Eli, let's have a chat. I just don't get it. Why would Eli join Gar's expedition? Obviously, for the vast riches that await him. Nah, Eli's never cared about money. There's something else going on here. I just wish he'd confide in us. Eli's kept secrets before, but he's never let them stop us from being a team. Moss extract. <laughs> my own concoction from my time among the Knoll tribes of Xanadu Basin. <laughs> I'm no fool, Eli. I know what others think of me. Right now, if my name appeared in the history books, it would be as a failure. This is my last chance. It can't fail. And with you on board, oh, I'm certain it won't. And, uh, what makes you think I can help? I believe it was fate that brought you to me, Eli. The truth is, for all my work, I'm still a piece or two away from knowing how to reach the above world. With a Shane on board, I can secure the funding I need to get that final piece. Easy, Burpee. We just need to keep him talking. Did you say something, Eli? I said, um, how did you learn about the above world? I've been obsessed for years, and I'm not alone. The legend of the burning world is believed by many. And even in those who don't, most of us wonder what else might be out there. Clues are all over if you know where to look. For instance? Stories passed down from one generation to the next. All too many include a mention of the burning world. And then, there is this, my greatest clue. You won't be able to read it, I'm sure. It's written in code. I can read this. It's our cipher. This is the Shane code. Maps, log entries. This tells how to use the drop. Uncle Jimmo. Jimmo? The Shane before your father? But that means, yes, of course, it's a Shane journal. Oh, that's the missing piece. 
The word Shane is a cipher, a keystone to the whole book. Eli, this is amazing. It changes everything. I've cracked the code. I can find the way up. Gar, no. What's in that book is secret for a reason. Then, then it's true. What's true is you need to give me that diary. Your coming to me was fate, Eli. I'm sure of that now. I will not be a failure. Help! I need help in here! The Shane! Stop him! Gotcha! Car, listen to me! Don't do this! I owe you a debt, Eli. Every instruction, the precise method to reach the above world, is all in this book, along with all the glory I deserve. After him! All my research is in that book! Tell the men, grab whatever equipment they need. After we get that book back, we leave for the burning world! Finishing blow. Yeah. Eli, what's going on? Nothing. Go back to your game. You're still playing that? I refuse to let it beat me. I gotta win at least one game. Yeah, that's a heck of an arsenal for nothing, bro. I told you I'll handle it. I don't want you involved. It's Shane business. Yeah? And we're the Shane gang. I don't want you guys getting hurt, all right? You just stay here. There's still time for me to ride out and lead them away. Uh, I am not certain what you're talking about exactly, uh, but perhaps it is too late to leave us out of it. Drag us out here to chase a boy! You promised us treasure, Rodel! Fame! I am not a man to be trifled with, Andre! <laughs> not today! Listen to me! All of you! You want fame and fortune? Well, that Shane boy is the key! First man to bring him to me gets a triple share! Yeah! I think there's even more of them than before! Burpee, man the auto blasters! <laughs> We need to get you out of here. Eli! My dad once told me about an escape tunnel into town. If we hurry, we can get through before they reach us. Eli, we're not leaving. But you don't even know what you're fighting for. It doesn't matter. We're a team. We don't need to know. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Any other ideas? This isn't gonna be easy to hear. All of you are gonna have questions. Unfortunately, now's not the time to answer them, so I'll just be quick. Remember all that stuff Gar was saying about a world above Slug Terra? <laughs> yeah? You mean that made up yarn he was spinning? Yeah, well, it's not made up. The world above is real. And it's my number one job as a Shane to keep it a secret. No way! You're joking, bro. I know what you're thinking, but it's not a joke. I'm asking you to take a lot on faith here, but you needed to know the truth. I don't buy it. It's a lot, I know. Eli, when I was a little girl, my mom used to tell me about the burning world every night before she tucked me in. You have to grow up. You can't keep believing in fairy tales. In this case, the fairy tale is real. This isn't just about Slug Terra. If Gar reaches the surface, both worlds will pay the price. Say you're right. How does Gar know all this? From this. It's my great uncle's. Based on the tiny look I got, every question I've ever had, every puzzle about my father and what came before me, the answer could be in here, including how to get topside. If Gar got his hands back on it, Eli, we can do this all day. Is this what you want, Gar? No! 
Cease fire! Cease fire! You might hit the book! Why take the diary when you can have me? Intriguing proposition. I think I'll take both. Fine. I'll come along. One condition. Leave my friends out of this. They aren't involved. There. Now you're being sensible. You don't need friends. At the end of the day, you're all alone. No. I told them I didn't want them involved. Then again... <laughs> they never seem to listen to me. Suckers! Come on out, Gar! You wanted me, now you got me! It's <laughs> over, Eli! Get out of here, bro. I can handle myself. With the lava links at point blank range? I don't think so. Let him go, Gar. You can have the book. No! Give it to me! <laughs> 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 I was so close! Nothing personal, kid. This was strictly business. Uh, wait, it's not over. Uh, this is just a setback. They were right. This was nothing but a sham. It wasn't. I I'll find another way. You just Go need... away, Gar. It's over. Wait, wait. Where are you going? You just need to give... I have a feeling Ravel won't be a problem anymore. Listen, guys. About what happened. It's cool, Eli. We get it. Shane's secrets, right? I want to show you something. When I first met you, I said I came from a secret cavern, far away from here. Well, that wasn't entirely true. It was far away, but it wasn't a cavern. Then where did you grow up? Up there. In a hole? That hole is called the Drop. It's how I got here. It leads to the place Gar wanted to reach. Huh. The burning world? I call it the surface, but yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't understand. It's gonna be hard to wrap your head around this. Your entire universe pretty much just exploded. Yeah, so did my brain. I knew the Shanes kept secrets, but this one? Wow. The magic that exists here, the slugs, they would be lost forever if the surface world ever found out about Slug Terra. And if that happens, all the evil below us would have nothing to stop it. Slug Terra is the first and last line of defense. That's why our two worlds can never mix. You shouldn't have told us this, Eli. It's too big a secret. You should have kept it in the family. You guys are my family. And from now on, no more secrets. I'll tell you everything I know. Though, as far as being a Shane is concerned, that's not a whole lot. And you just torched the book that might have changed all that. There was nothing in that book we can't figure out for ourselves, including how to get back up there. That's the other thing. For now, at least, it was a one-way trip for me. So I guess we're stuck with you then. Pretty much. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I gotta say, you guys are taking this news pretty well. Oh, are you kidding me? I got about a million questions. Now, the sky thing, does it really go on forever? Yeah, are there molinoids in this place? And if so, are they respected as superior life forms? Or just slightly superior? And what's up with this moon thing? What keeps it from falling down on top of us? Why don't I start at the beginning? We live on a planet called Earth. Earth? Planet? Equally superior? Take out Dr. Black's guards. Consider them taken. I'll wrap up lock and load before they can deliver that thing to Dr. Black. We have no idea what that thing does, Eli. For all we know, it could be lunch. Somehow I doubt it. Mm -hmm. 
so we can bring them down together. with glimmer and suds. Then allow me. Blow them away, Blaster! Just keep riding. I'll deal with Dr. Black. Why didn't you do that before? I didn't mean to blow it up. As long as Lock and Load won't be bringing it to Black, I think we can call it a win. Though I'd like to be celebrating with the rest of my slugs. Don't worry, Eli. Slugs always find their way back home. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure when we get there, we'll find Burpee and the others already at the clubhouse, kicking back and relaxing. We've 
passed through this cavern dozens of times on our way home before. But somehow it seems different. Hmm, indeed. Last time I was here, the town was fat and happy. So it was, stranger. Until Munch showed up, at least. Munch? Coming to town, big as a boulder and dumb as a sack of hammers, and ate us out of house and home. Why not just kick the bum out on his, you know, uh, bum? Cause no one beats Munch! You and your slugs challenging Munch to a duel! If you leave this cavern and never come back when I beat you, then yeah, I'll duel ya. Uh, Eli? And not now, Trixie, I'm trash talking. Ow! Trixie, what? You're slugs. You're a few short, remember? Uh, no problem. I'll lend you bludgeon. And Pronto will give you the honor of fighting with my Flancherorinkis and his nasty stank. No! <laughs> no ringers! You said you and your slugs gonna do a much, and that's what you're gonna do. That is what you agreed to, Eli. <laughs> After Munch beats Eli Shane, Munch will be king of the caverns! <laughs> <sighs> Smart move there, Eli. Now I gotta duel a guy with a bandolier of powered-up bruisers, while Burpee and the others are probably back home, taking a bath. You guys really think you can get to the clubhouse and back with Burpee and the other slugs in time? We're already there, Eli. Wait! What? Burpee and other slugs? Much already told you. No ringers! Burpee's my slug. He's just not here. Yet. No. Too bad, because we duel now! Time for the legendary Mullinoid stall. <clears throat> you certainly have enjoyed those succulent leg parts. I believe a mouth-watering dessert would fill those final corners of your impressive stomach. Oh, uh, yeah! <laughs> Much get it? You tried a legendary Mullinoid stall? Well, it won't work. Much is smarter than he looks. Uh, and that is not saying much. Thanks, Pronto. But I agreed to this duel. Glimmer and Suds here may not pack as much firepower as Burpee or Jules, but we can fight them off until Cord and Tricks get back. 
No problem, right? You're beginning to wear him out! <laughs> you're in the mud! Uh, yeah, and you're right where I want you. You got him, Glimmer. Give him all you got! <laughs> all right. That's what you've got. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him that you were responsible? Huh. I imagine that we'll become ghoul chow! <gasps> Brother, I believe that Dame Fortune has indeed smiled upon us. Because I cannot imagine anything making Dr. Black happier than turning Eli Shane's best slug into a ghoul. pair of boots. Just pursue those vermin or I'll give you the boot. Sometimes I can't believe we're related. <laughs> there! That purse! Move it! Move 
is right, boys. Where do you lads think you're going? <laughs> Anywhere we want, mall cop. <laughs> oh, lost her big brother. <laughs> Not for long. See, that's a nice mecha beast. <laughs> are useless, hit them with something else! Oh, and looking good! Yeah, My slugs aren't useless. I just gotta figure out the right way to use them. <laughs> Lather it up, suds! <laughs> That's what you get when you mess with such that Dr. Black would be equally satisfied if we merely brought him the heads of the Shane Brack slugs. Dipped on the burny one. Just in time. I don't think we could have lasted another minute. Where's Burpee? Sorry, Eli. But if they're not coming, then... Can't win. Are you guys ready to go down trying? Slugs? Uh, yeah. No way! You lasted this long with two floppers? 
No way much is fighting slugs who can do that. Much is out of here. Don't listen to him. You guys aren't floppers. You did me proud. I'm glad you guys are okay. But where were you? Um... They were obviously just goofing off. That's what slugs always do when you're not watching. Well, lucky for you, lazy slugs, Pronto was here to use his mighty brains and save the day. But what were you doing? Lazing around, goofing off. The Slugterra Institute of Technology welcomes you, sir. I'm thrilled to show you what your generous donation is funding. SIT has a long tradition of groundbreaking research, and here are two of our top scientists. Tobias here has made some fascinating inroads in the field of gravitation. Doesn't that lift your spirits? <laughs> hey, <laughs> Once I work the bugs out of my zero-G machine, Slug Terra will own the air. Catherine's ideas about Sonics are worth listening to. Sound is invisible, but its effects can be powerful. <laughs> what about me, Professor? Aren't you gonna show Mr. Moneybags my invention? Aha. Uh -huh. Dr. Kolowski has been researching artificial slug technology. Sir, don't pay any attention to Quentin's unfounded research. Let me show you more about my work. I thought we told you never to come back here, you and your crazy robots. Oh, you'll never get rid of me. Your anti-gravity machine will never amount to anything, Tobias! <laughs> Nor will your pathetic sound amplifier. <laughs> now, let's talk about the future. My future, to be specific. We need help. As of this moment, all research will be directed by me. Eli Shane, we need you, now! The only science in this cavern is my science! Behold! My robo-slugs! Furia Cavern. Always wanted to see this place. Ah, science is vastly overrated. Pronto has no need for facts. I go with my gas. <laughs> and my gas tells me it's past my lunchtime. If these so-called scientists are such geniuses, where did they put all the restaurants? Where did they put all the people? And I don't see any slugs either. The slugs are all hiding. I'm Catherine McGregor. You're the one who called about the rogue scientist. Quinton's always been a little quirky. This time, he's crossed the line. Anyone try to stand up to this guy? We're scientists, not slug slingers. That's why we called you. Yeah, good point. I envision a world where the only slugs people use are my robo slugs. To that end, anyone found with a live slug will be punished. I don't have to listen to this madness. I'm not finished yet! Yeah, actually, I think you are. I was hoping we could reason this out, but you're kind of beyond reason, aren't you? I prefer to say that I'm beyond your understanding, Eli Shane. Oh, yes. I know who you are. Then you know how I work. I'm gonna give you one chance to do the right thing and apologize to all these people. Otherwise... Otherwise, we duel? That's right. Oh, 
This will be fun. I'm gonna blast that nasty thing right off your shoulder. I think you just insulted my slugs. Bad idea. Species, Infernus. Attack modes, Flashfire, Infernus, Novaclaw. Downloading countermeasures to Roboslug Brain Matrix. Burpee? Are you okay? <laughs> You were beaten before you began. I've downloaded databases on every slinger who's ever shot a slug. You, your friends, even your father, the great Will Shay. He'd have beaten you in a minute. Might take me too. <laughs> your father was a slug lover, just like you. <laughs> He successfully used that identical arachnet move in 17 different duels. Your attempt, however, has failed, and my robo slugs will continue to triumph over your weak, disgusting slugs and tired old tactics. Then I guess I'll have to show you some new tactics. Uh, what? Uh, no match found. What, what is he? Smart slug slinging will beat mad science every time, Quentin. It's over. Over? Ha! You won't believe what I'll bring when I come back. Um, you're still here. Huh? Ha! That's right! You slink away, scoundrel, while your batters... <laughs> oh, uh, while your batters look for lunch. We better get ready for this guy. I sure don't think he's gone for good. He's probably back at his secret lab. Get real, Cord. You've been watching too many fiction vids. Not all scientists have secret labs. The great Eli Shane and his wonderful slugs thinks he has all the answers. Well, wait till he sees what mad science can do. I'll show him big like he's never seen. Oh, there must be some food around here. I, I, what is, what? Hang on, quick! Ah! I bet he's got some kind of super doomsday weapon he's gonna spring on us. Ha! Let him bring his super weapon of doom. Once Pronto fills his mighty stomachs, he will be the match of any foe. Now, a more pressing problem. Did anyone bring a can opener? <laughs> and my day just got worse. Oh, you have no idea how bad it's gonna get. Now! Take that thing down fast! Eli? Plan B? Stay alive! Crawler slug, fireball defense. <laughs> Flopper slug. <laughs> no defense needed. I had to try. He's gonna have a weak spot. <laughs> <laughs> 
Cheap shot, Trixie. But I don't have any weak spots. While you and your pathetic meatbag slugs are just one enormous weak spot. So what now? Hate to say it, but retreat. <laughs> That's it. Run, slug lovers. Run from my superior technology. You see, not even Eli Shane can protect you from me. Well, that was humiliating. Nothing to be ashamed about. Quentin's got awesome tech, but that doesn't make him better. My hop rock couldn't even get near the guy. Hey, 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 uh, why are you beating that innocent rock there, Pronto? Perhaps I should pit this stubborn can against something harder. Like your thick troll skull. Glad you made it away safely. But you aren't safe here with all that banging. Yeah. It, it, Quiet, Quiet Pronto. Pronto. Uh -huh. I've got a place nearby where we can regroup. Ooh, a secret lab, perhaps? Oh, please. Uh, okay, I was wrong. <laughs> all us scientists have secret labs. So what's the deal with Quentin? He really hates slugs. He doesn't just hate them. He's terrified of them. Really? That's good to know. Ever since the accident when we were kids. It was during a field trip to the slug biology department. Quentin always considered a locked door as a challenge. He was in there for two days before they found him. He was never the same since. And all his science has been about finding a way to live without slugs. Yeah, slugophobia. There's got to be an angle there. <laughs> ah, exasperating recalcitrant can! You frustrate me with your tenacious kin perimeter! Okay... Pronto, you're a genius! He is? I am. Oh, yes, of course I am! I think I figured out a way to beat Quentin but we're gonna need some high-tech help. I believe we have that covered. And even more importantly, we need you to buy us some time. I've got a few ideas in that regard. This is boring. What's the point of being superior if I can't lord it over everyone? Eli Shane! I'm ready for round three! Are you? He's busy right now. But I've got something for you. <laughs> Ah, again with the anti-grav? When are you gonna learn? That's nothing compared to me! I don't even have to waste a robo-slug on your pebble! As smart as you think you are, you still end up throwing rocks like a savage! Pitiful. Run, little savage. Run! You can't escape the superior man! And that's all you have to remember. But don't worry, Noodle. You're gonna do great. <laughs> I have my doubts that such a spineless slug can be our key to victory. Every slug is useful, Pronto. Even floppers. Tobias is down. I'm going in. Remember, just stall him. Don't try and be a hero. And don't get yourself hurt. Excellent advice. Back to the drawing board! <laughs> What's wrong, Tobias? Nothing clever to say. I've got something to say. This will be fun. <laughs> that must be Kate. Don't ever get into a shouting match with her. Cord, you about done? 
good to go. Saddle up, guys. Time to take this big brain bully to school, Shane Gang style. Let me go, Quentin! Your harpy's voice was even less pleasant at 400 decibels. Put her down, Quentin! <laughs> Our Mega Mecha Mech is gonna kick your Mecha Mech's iron butt! Drop her easy and raise your hands, Quentin. Shut you down. <laughs> In that thing? I've been perfecting this suit for years. How long did you spend cobbling that wreck together? Five minutes? Forty-five minutes, smart guy. It will take me less time than that to disassemble it. <laughs> <laughs> Critical systems intact. Barely. Huh? Try to get close and hammer him with the triple combo. <laughs> Ice attack. Infernus defense downloaded. Been there, done that. <laughs> Targeting. No! Oh, yeah! High five, Trixie! You know, the thing about slugs is you have to find them, train them, take care of them. Why do all that when you can simply manufacture an endless supply? Which is exactly what I have! Big first coming in, dodge right! No, go left! Uh, my right or, or your right? Oh, man! Don't worry, Trixie. Cord, you've got another arm. Use it! <laughs> Oh, man! Can I worry now? Just so you know, this plan has an 87% probability of ending in disaster. Eli's doing his part. We have to focus on ours. The question remaining is how much longer I extend your suffering. Come on, come on! Oh, hang on! <laughs> Maybe a little longer. Gyros are burning out. This big baby's not gonna keep walking for long. Well, technically, this is called a death hop. In control here! So am I! I am in complete control! <laughs> well, that's just embarrassing. I think I'll put you out of your misery. Try it! <laughs> Points for tenacity! Is it just delusion? Either way, I want to look you in the eye when I break you in two! You thought we were building a robot to beat yours in 45 minutes? How dumb do you think we are? We were just building a can opener. And you were cocky enough to let me get close enough to do this! All yours, Noodle! <laughs> Flopper slug on me! Here, smart guy, where it all began. Where it ends, for you anyway. Gonna draw? Blaster's empty. 
I used all my slugs to get this far. Come here. I want to look you in the eye when I beat you. <laughs> when you beat me? With your non-existent blaster and your imaginary slugs? Just because my blaster's empty doesn't mean I'm out of slugs. Huh? <laughs> nice work, guys. You didn't even have to transform. That was sweet, Eli. Glad this thing held together as long as it... to say thank you oh well, that's a good start the magistrate's on his way i imagine you'll have volumes to say to him i, I know it's here <laughs> there must be an easier way to open a can of beans all yours. Hey, you're not my lawyer. Figured that out pretty quick. I heard you were smart. And you know, Quentin, I can use a few smart men. <laughs> <laughs> 